Hey guys, so where I live in Guatemala, uh, there are no grocery stores, but there are little local shops where you can get your vegetables. And I know that a lot of people are, are, are really interested in food and where food is bought. So in this video, I'm going to just show you quickly uh, a local shop where I and Frank and Stella just went inside and I just bought some sweet potatoes and some fire starters because I'm planning on spending some time on my land um, in the next couple days. Uh, so, so yeah, so here we go. I just saw my, my friend who I haven't seen in a long time. Um, so as you see here, no fluorescent lights. There's just like little local ladies who like run the shop and they have fresh produce. Um, actually, I'm gonna take you over to this one over here. This is my other favorite shop. The kids are coming along. This is my other, this is my favorite um, fruit and vegetable shop. Um, you see, you just have local fresh produce that is grown in the area and stuff is just weighed on a little scale and then it's it's pretty cheap and affordable. So you got your, so you know what, you want to know a funny thing? They call lemons, like normally in the United States you call this a lime, right? But this here and in many other countries this is considered a lemon. So you got your fresh fruits fresh vegetables and then oh my god check out this view over there so there's there's the mountain range get a better view here um so this place where i am now is called san marcos so i live in a different village it's called sununa so frank stella and i took a trip to go two uh two villages away so san marcos is sort of like it's sort of like a, a yoga hippie though like it's very spiritually diverse community where there is a lot on offer here um there is a mystery school called the pyramids here which started about 20 years ago and, and really attracted a certain crowd so it's a very sort of like like spiritually ambitious community here amidst like a lot of locals and people who are just passing through as tourists and also some people who have like me come to this place and really kind of like fallen in love and made it their home so, uh, so here is a just kind of like a random little clothes shop where you can get some knockoff brands, maybe some secondhand clothes. And then here, I really like this shop. This is the, the coconut, the coconut shop. Hola. Where you can get your. It's like you know what's interesting is like you know at the grocery store when you go, you have this like very very wide selection of things. You can get everything. But these shops, it's different. You like this shop might have coconuts lemons and papaya whereas that shop might have really fresh tomatoes whereas this shop over here might have like the freshest bananas of the day um and then what else can i show you oh there's another little shop so so um those tuk-tuks here these are for the village of san marcos i actually want to go around the corner and get the tuk-tuks that go back to my village you really don't want to uh, mix tuk-tuks I hate when she does this. Sometimes Stella just decides that she wants to chase. Hey, Tuna! Uh, hey, 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 guys. So, I'm just gonna show you this last shop. So, I just flagged down as soon as I took Tuk. I'm gonna be with him in a second, but I just wanna show you this last little shop. This is where I typically like to get this local herb called Paracorn, which makes a really great tea. They also have some great flowers. Let's go inside. Hola, amiga. So they've got, they've got some fresh chamomile, fresh broccoli. This is a local vegetable called a, a whiskeel. You can find this sometimes in the US, sort of like specialty stores. You've got a bunch of fresh basil here. Albaca. Ooh, look at this, a saga. This looks really good. So sometimes you come to these shops and stuff looks really great, looks really fresh. Sometimes you come to these shops and stuff is kind of like wilted and not so great looking. So going shopping is definitely like a local experience and almost like a community experience where you know you, you see people you talk to people you find the good stuff which this do i'm gonna do this one so i'm finding my nice fresh local greens we've got pineapples and papayas and bananas um and then of course oh yeah where's the paracorn you know what i have enough paracorn at home so here's like 
a nice big batch of fresh chamomile and paracone, which is really great to put in a tea. So, so I'll just take this one. <laughs> Some see women in their local traditional dress. Hello, can you have a dollar? I mean, yes. Hmm? Yes. Hmm? Yes. 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 Bushel of green, which is pretty good, right? So, I guess that's one of my favorite things about living here is that, yeah, it's pretty affordable, especially relative to like US prices. Going food shopping in the US, I don't know if you know this, it's really expensive. One thing I love about being here is a lot of things are a lot more affordable. Granted, there's a trade off to living here versus in the US. Like, you know, some things are just like not accessible and it's just a very different experience of life. But there are a lot of really beautiful parts out living here. Like, like your dogs can just follow you anywhere. Okay. All right, I'm gonna pull out my money and buy this. But yeah, thanks for tuning in. Let me know, do you have any questions about life here in Guatemala? Is there something that you would like to see in a video? Um, I hope you enjoyed having this little tour of this really simple, really beautiful place that I call home. And then in a moment, I'm gonna grab one of those tuk-tuks over there and head back to my village with the, with the dogs. <laughs> All right, bye.